Good evening, I'm Paula Toti. And I'm Kyle Inskeep. Trick-or-treating is pretty common in many neighborhoods, but for others it's actually pretty challenging. Yeah, some parents in Over the Rhine have had to be careful about where they take their children. And Angela Ingram, Ingram joins us live with what the community is doing to give roughly 200 children a safe and happy Halloween. Angela. Well, Paula, this is Grant Park in Over the Rhine, and at one point this was known as a high crime area. A lot of drug activity, a lot of shootings here, but people who love this neighborhood turned this park around, and now they are hosting their first ever Grant Park Halloween party for the children. In the purple is a positive space. Lede Richardson is one of several students at the Art Academy volunteering to make Halloween creations for the kids in Over the Rhine. I know how hard it is to um, go Halloween trick-treating in neighborhoods like this. The props, painted pumpkins, and other creations are all going to Grant Park. And so some of the projects that we're working on, uh, we're doing like a big mural that they can take pictures in front of. We have different cutouts that they can stick their heads into and take pictures with. And we're also designing different masks that kids can color. We're going to be doing trick-or-treat in Grant Park. Uh, for the first time ever this year. Halloween in Grand Park is the work of people who care pulling together. Over the years, block captain and community activist John Donaldson has seen positive changes. He thinks now's the time to make another statement in this park, that it belongs to the children and not the criminal element. We still have our challenges like, like any place does, but we have seen a dramatic uh, improvement in the park with the programming that we're doing here uh, and you know, just, try, just getting the families into the park and the bad elements out of the park. The artwork from the students will be here along with hay rides and of course there will be lots of candy. Well we usually walk around but we have found other stuff that's in when we went to go look in their bags when we got home and it was like three top joints so I don't even walk around here no more. I just We have Halloween parties in our basement. For families that live here, the group effort to turn around this park has not gone unnoticed and this will be a Halloween where they can enjoy their own neighborhood and have lasting memories with their kids. We're hoping a lot of families come out. We're going to have a lot of fun, exciting things if the rain holds off. And if it does rain, they have a backup plan. They will move the party to a nearby building and have signs here letting people know exactly where to go. John Donaldson, who is the block watch captain here, says anyone who really wants to participate can come down and help pass out that candy to make Halloween great for the children who live here. Reporting live from over the Rhine, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you.